The next topic of discussion is individual learning differences. Under this topic, we are going to now discuss intelligence and multiple intelligence. Let's try to figure out what we mean by intelligence and the concept of multiple intelligence in light of all these different definitions given by these researchers. So, first definition is given by Moffian where he says that intelligence is a very general mental capability. It is a capability and it is a mental capability, but it is general. That means that there are so many other capabilities uh, which are considered as mental capabilities, but this particular capability, among other things, involves the ability to reason out things, uh, to rationalize things, to plan, solve problems, comprehend, develop understanding of complex ideas, learn quickly and learn from experiences. So you see, although it is a general capability, but the very process of uh, cognition or where the intelligence is involved is about reasoning out things, planning, uh, comprehending, evaluating, understanding complex ideas as well as having an ability to learn quickly. Intelligence is considered by many researchers as a very important factor which can account for differences. So the core area uh, behind intelligence is the differences among the learners. Reason is that sometimes different result learners or individuals differences can lead to uh, the production of different results, although maybe all the learners have followed the similar procedure or similar process, but uh, the results that uh, have been generated by these learners are different. Why they are different? That is the area where intelligence comes in. Learning procedures also as a person's intellectual performance will vary on different occasions in different domains as judged by different criteria. So, these different results are the uh, production of or the result of uh, or consequences of different factors that contribute in the development of this general capability which we all call intelligence. Wegner and Sternberg proposed three concepts or three conceptions of intelligence. One is psychometric view. Now, this is the view which is related to one's mental capability and this can be measured. There are certain tests. Uh, the teachers or evaluators can form tests to evaluate one's mental ability based on this psychometric view. Piaggian view is basically uh, of intelligence in terms of different stages that we have already covered. Sensory motor stage, pre-operational, operational, concrete and formal uh, stages, they are basically, they refer to the stage of maturity. And also the information processes view focuses on the way brain represents and processes the information. So the third concept is about how the brain represents the information and how that information is processed in mind. Stenberg also distinguishes Three types of intelligence. One is analytical, the ability to analyze, uh, creative, the ability to be innovative, to be more dynamic, as well as practical. And that is the capacity to adapt, to shape and to select environments suited to one's own ability. So we see that intelligence takes into account all these conceptions and these uh, distinguishing factors. Then we have Gardner's theory of multiple intelligence, which is basically the focus is on the development or of the understanding of different ways. So he proposed this theory, theory of multiple intelligence, which basically takes into account the uh, different ways in which different intelligences are developed, how we process, learn and remember information. Now, he identified broadly eight categories of skills uh, and abilities which he considers to be individual intelligences. They are naturalistic, linguistic, logical, mathematical, spatial, kinesthetic, musical, intrapersonal, as well as interpersonal. According to Gardner's day, 
while individuals are capable of processing information in at least seven different ways each individual varies in the degree of skill possessed in each of these intelligences so basically the skill development is specific to learners specific intelligences so you see that these are the multiple intelligences and every individual develops the specific intelligence based on his or her inclination towards the intelligences and also in terms of their differences in learning or their uh, shortcomings so let's see what type of intelligence we have in the naturalistic where we see loves animals plants and nature and understands natural world biologist or conservationist according to gardner we see that this particular area emphasizes that hunters farmers gardeners would have high level of naturalistic intelligence as would artists poets and social scientists who are also adept at pattern recognition so the capacity in order to be involved in hobby that includes nature such as watching a bird enjoying studying environment nature reading book magazines watching tv talking about favorite pets and all that that comes under the naturalistic intelligence so second we have the linguistic intelligence which we all mean that linguistic is our ability to speak to each other in our daily conversation or write a letter to someone or perform any verbal activity and this can be done through browsing the library bookstore regularly keep a diary play word game memorize favorite songs get together with friends and writing a language or forming different kinds of sen sentences or different genres of speaking and writing then we have this visual spatial now this intelligence involves sensitivity to color line shape form space relationship that exists between these elements and this type of intelligence basically revolves around the activities such as working on a jigsaw puzzle taking a film making classes cut out favorite pictures from magazine pay close attention to the television advertisement films videos and all that so this comes under visual spatial intelligence then we have musical intelligence that is our ability to sing a song or chant to the tune of radio melody people who are musically intelligent can usually hear music in their heads and learn some music very quickly they go to concerts uh, with friends they make tapes or cds uh, they sing english song urdu song based on their own liking and then they also listen to different type of music so they draw their intelligence from the musical likings interpersonal basically interpersonal intelligence is expressed in our human relationship where we cooperate with each other where we interact with each other and we develop our skills uh, in interaction with each other so this type of uh, intelligence focuses on language learning uh, which individual can choose doing the following activities they can join clubs or debating societies or other extracurricular societies have a party or invitation interacting with at least one person out of class each day be a people watcher enjoy interaction with groups or be a social worker so interpersonal uh, intelligence is about having this social interaction now intrapersonal is the ability to understand one's inner feelings and self realization and to know about one's self philosopher or clergy or pious or a religious person so intrapersonal is basically this kind type of intelligence is the one where people think about their own goals and hopes for future attend religious services record their thoughts and feelings in a day journal engage in activities that make them feel more confident about themselves so it is the awareness or the desire and feelings feelings and abilities one drives from within that is the intrapersonal intelligences we also have logical mathematical intelligence this basically according to gardner describes intelligence which is the ability to study problems or to carry out mathematical operations logically and analytically people having this ability to develop problem solving skills 
mathematically or having the ability which is analytical ability and they focus on watching TV shows about science, visiting local science museum, sequencing events into storyline, carry and use technology calculators and games. So this intelligence basically focus on the maths and logical intelligence. Now kinesthetic is the kind of intelligence where one involves our ability to use body to express feelings or desires. This is the total physical response approach to language teaching, which relies on the use of bodily kinesthetic and intelligence, excelling, performing sports, physical activities, role play, acting, all these comes under bodily kinesthetic intelligence. To conclude, Gardner's theory of multiple intelligence proposes that human beings possess multidimensional traits that are not only confined to cognitive abilities, but also include other abilities such as physical, artistic, social, etc. MIT, which is multiple intelligence theory, recognizes that learning involves physical and effective sides of individual as well as cognitive.